Welcome to the Big E. This is the place where we explore, we experience, and we enjoy our life. Today I want to talk about, are we there yet? I've had people ask me and I've heard so many say, are we there yet? Will my pain stop? Will my suffering stop? Are we there yet? Will the, the lessons, the continuing different experiences of like my childhood, uh, a current relationship, a job that I'm enjoying, are, are these experiences ever going to stop? And when do we get to that lovely plateau in that beautiful mesa? And when do we get to calm down? When do we get to have quiet and peace and centered? The answer to your question is, are we there yet? No, we're not there yet. If you get there and you're there, you will be home. You will be off of this planet, out of this life. Because it will always continue. And it will always be experiences and new things and this wave of change. This is the thing that Spirit has asked us to get comfortable with, this wave of change. It's so prominent right now. It can be a little chaotic. It's like you're rocking the boat, or why is my boat rocking? Maybe you don't think you're rocking it, but I'm sorry to say, but yes, you are rocking it. So your boat is rocking, there's waves, and where's my calm sea? Where's my calm oceans out to the sunset? This is what you create. It is calm because you are calm. It is shaky and rocky because you are rocky and you are shaking your life. I know this is difficult to hear because the first thing we say in our mind is, no, I don't. I'm not doing that to myself. Why would I create that kind of an experience? Why would I not be having fun? Why would I not be out there enjoying my life? Something inside yourself is not good enough so the patterns that repeat in our body are drama. We loop in our suffering or others, pe other people's suffering. We create these patterns and these repeating actions in our life that do cause turmoil, do cause us to wonder, is the world going to be uh, blown up? Uh, are we going to make it on the planet? These are all platforms that you stand on. These are your beliefs. This is what controls, moves, and creates your life. But to add that no matter what we're going through, we are not alone. If this is getting so heavy on your shoulders, you're trying to be responsible, you're trying to get it, we're not alone. We have a higher consciousness, that greater, more brilliant, smarter part of ourselves. Some call it spirit, some call it God, some call it source, creation, you can even call on Gaia. But it is a time to call on that higher self to make any change in your life. If at some point you feel stuck or you just can't find the answer. So don't feel isolated, don't feel uh, so overwhelmed. But ask, start asking. So are we there yet? When we say that statement, it is so hard because in that we're looking for something to save us, something to shift in a huge way, to get out of whatever that density or that intense place of is in your life. I understand. But we will not get there unless you help yourself. Are we there yet? I will ask you, what have you done to make the change? What have you done to look at yourself and why you repeat things? Have you asked yourself, why am I here? That is how we will get there, to a place of a lighter body, a healing body, out of drama, out of pain, out of suffering, out of the chaos. One other thing to look at, the one question I've said this before is, why do you want it? What does it give you? 
It's a simple thing of if you did not want it, it would not be there. If you did not get something from these patterns, you would be changing them this very instant because you've had enough. You're done. You're ready to move on. You're ready to be bigger. You're ready to be better and more beautiful and brilliant. So why have you not made these changes yet? These are things to look at, to dive deep, to be clear, to shift out of anything that is happening to you today. So yes, there are many times we ask ourselves, am I there yet? How about if we ask ourselves, am I here yet? Bring everything of heaven and that place you believe that will save you. Bring it in. Create it in yourself. Be it. You shift it. You make the change. And yes, we will get to that place of paradise, of peace. Yes, things go on in the world, but you can still have what they call heaven on earth. You can have that place of calm, joy, laughter, fun, but it is up to you on how and when you are ready. I hope you have a beautiful July the 4th. I know all of us are out there having fun, getting ready for our barbecues and the fireworks and the beauty of this day. We have an independence. We've gained it. Back in the day, we fought for it. So it is ours. Same in the spiritual. You have an independence. You have fought for it. You have gained it because you are still here. It is your independence day. So take it. Grab it, put it inside yourself, and stand on that knowing, be it. I hope you've enjoyed the show. If you'd like to make comments on this, please reach out. I'd love to talk to you. I always love talking to you and sharing, knowing where you're at. If you need some assistance, uh, more questions on this show, how do I get there, Jasmine? How do I make this shift? I can give you steps, one, two, and three steps to follow exactly from where you're at and take three steps out of a situation, out of a suffering, out of pain, out of drama, when you're ready. So reach out. Until next time, I'm sending you love, always.